Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, you know what else you can do. If you want to support this channel, you want to support me, then you can join the chatterbox for exclusive live streams, exclusive content, and to be one of the people to be first to know what's going on with your girl Earl in the back with the curl. No, I'm just like, <laughs> ah. Okay, let me stop. All right, seriously. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, that is the paid channel membership. It is four dollars and ninety nine cents to join, and you do have to be at least eighteen years old. And let me just start putting this one little disclosure in there so you guys know. Um, you sometimes have to go to your desktop to sign up. Some phones just don't seem to do it. Um, and also, I don't have any control or any say in the actual sign up process. I can't see anything or anything like that. Uh, YouTube handle all that completely. So just FYI. All right. So today I decided to come on and just be my little authentic self and this baby is a moss all I did was take off what he had on which he was still wearing I think Christmas clothes child don't worry about these eyelashes these eyebrows I'm gonna take them out cuz baby they ain't doing what they supposed to do and it's uh, driving me insane and I can't take it. Remember, silicone, you don't glue anything in. You can't, because you can't, which you can't cut the head open and go in there and put glue. So, the hair can be pulled out. It does take a bit to pull it out. You know, it's not that simple if, well, if it's rooted deep enough, I should say. Because if it's like not really rooted that deep, then yeah, it'll, it'll come out easy. Um, you'll lose it with the brush or something. But otherwise, it, it usually stays in pretty good. So what I'll do with him, and because I use such a, thin needle or skinny needle little needle whatever you want to call it when I root I pull that out you won't see any root holes or anything like that and then when I get finished rooting him I will then um, adjust his eyebrows and you know root him some new eyebrows and stuff to look more natural to where they don't be like ponytail length and all that good jazz so anyway now I'm gonna be irritated by the little piece of the hairs but that those eyebrows was not not nice I mean they did okay when you held them in place but I think I'm starting to get a little bit better with the eyebrows so I'm doing better eyebrows. So I painted him, obviously, a while back. And I hadn't really did anything with him because, to be honest, for a while I was just like, I just wanted to keep him. And I figured when I get through rooting him, I really was going to want to keep him. So, But I am going to sell him once he's totally completed. He's going to be one of my discounted babies um in my membership certain babies when i sell them i occasionally occasionally certain babies i will give a little deeper discount than the public so just fyi so if you hear somebody say oh she quoted us this price and she if they're in my membership that's why they got a lower price it wasn't because i like them more because trust me when it comes to my money, I don't like nobody more. I want all my money. 
<laughs> on period <laughs> like literally I will sell a baby I don't care. All right, there you go. So anyway, he's on a newborn body. And certain angles, he reminds me of my grandson. He was going through all his changing phases and all that stuff. So that's why it was so hard for me to let him go. So you haven't, that's why you never seen no heavy marketing or nothing with him. But he is the Orion Sculpt, just FYI. He is the Orion Sculpt by Kathy Romero Biscotti from Silicon Studio. I don't know. I don't see him on her site. So I don't, he may be a pay, poor by request. Or I don't know if she just didn't, you know, really push him. Because he was an actual portrait of a real baby. So I don't know. It was never like a big market push with him. So I'm going to try to put him on these. This little outfit. It says it's zero to three, but it looks fairly big. But we're going to see. And I'm going to put him on this cloth diaper, which I know is kind of on the big side. But I like, I found that I like putting my cuddles on um, cloth diapers sometimes because it gives them like a really cute um, push push in the back so I'm gonna take this diaper off him <laughs> see he has a little bum bum oh this is oh my god I love this this little voice I love cuddles I don't know it's something about cuddles I love and I know some people you know tell me well I don't know I don't like the Reggie Ann body but my customers that has had them for the most part no nope, have came back and told me that they actually really like um Reggie Ann's bodies I just they they just work for me I know there are some that might look you know cute um or something because they have like the little feet and the little hands and stuff but for me you know I be want my babies to feel good when I pick them up I love the weight of them I'm a lazy person I love that when I <laughs> when I buy them from her even though they are expensive you know they they can cost you know up to a hundred bucks but let me tell you something it's a hundred bucks well spent because i don't have to re-weight them i mean i adjust the weight of course um on a lot of them just so they can have i want them to have a really floppy feel and a cuddly feel so i may adjust them but one thing i have not had to do to date and let me knock on wood I have not had to add weight to her dolls that's I mean her bodies that's one thing I have not had to do I usually maybe take some of the fluff out or you know I might have taken I really I like my babies heavy so I don't usually take much of you no know, beads or anything out I usually just take a little adjust the fluff and sometimes I don't really take it all out I just adjust it to make it flow with um and we're going to fake do his hair even though it's not finished. We're going to do all that. I, you know, just adjust it and position it where I want it so that he, you know, just look real in his clothes. Feel good when you hold him. That's the key thing. And then I put the little wafers inside of them. And oh my God, they smell good. They feel good. It's just so comforting. I'm telling you, it is. It is the most comforting feeling. Oh, you fit it, Tuka. Okay, so he can fit it. Uh, hopefully, you can fit these pants. We're going to get that hair. We'll get the hair in a second. But, yeah. 
And cuddles, I you know, I know cuddles are not for everybody. I'm finding some socks. <clears throat> I know cuddles are not for everybody. And I'm I'm not the one that tried to force stuff down people's throat. Um let me see what size he is. Nope. I don't want to. Well, you know what? He could. He could. He could. I'm trying to debate what what socks I want to put him on because I didn't bring any socks over here. But I have some here, but they don't really match. And I, I don't really want to put him on white socks. So I'm going to have to wait to put his socks on. I may grab. I'll, I'll do that. Let's just get this on. But. Yeah, I, I'm not one of those people to be like, oh, you need to be, you know, subscribe to what I subscribe to. You know what I mean? If if you're not into the cuddle babies, I can respect that and understand that, you know. But this is my this is my new new addiction right now. I have right now I have one on the way. I have. At least one other one that I'm going to be painting for myself. Um, I'm trying to think. Is it just one? Yeah, at least one. I may possibly have another one as well. So, I'm, you know, I don't want, like, you know, I want other babies too. But I, I just... You know, I like my cuddles. So, oh, he was able to fit the, uh, the pants, too. So, let's do something with this hair. Get my little spray bottle out. My little brush. And some of you guys are too rough with your baby's hair. And that's another reason why you're pulling it out. Because, first of all, you know, even if the hair was sealed in, I wouldn't be doing being extremely hard and rough on their hair and if your baby hair is is like say it's not the best like it's not directionally rooted and so it um it tangles a lot because when when the hair is not directionally rooted i found that it tangles a lot and or you know if it's plug in it's got a lot of Hair is in one hole. That's what I call pluggy. Um, Sometimes, you know, that hair gets tang tangly and kinky and stuff like that. Or if it's a certain kind of, you know, hair or texture. As long as it's mohair, not speaking of human hair. As long as it's mohair, you can use um, fabric softener and water just a little bit. Like... Enough to where it just make your, your, your water look a little cloudy maybe. But not where it's going to like turn your water a whole nother color. You shouldn't be using it that heavy. Because then you're going to have like a film on their head. But because it's, you know, goat hair, mohair, you know. You can use the fabric softener. It detangles it so well. It leaves it with a really nice sheen as well and like if you got curls it's like it defines the curls I find really well um but most babies just need if they you know got a decent mohair uh a different a decent kind of mohair most of them just need water and some you know some soft brushing um and then you you'll be fine his hair goes back because I was I was making progress now. Yeah, so most of them, you know, just water. Take your time. Um, I usually try to work if they got curls. I usually try to work it in with my fingers. Sometimes I don't even use the the, the brush. I only use my toothbrush sometimes on the edges when they have curly hair. Sometimes because I do this right here and make it curl, and then I let it dry. And sometimes, like, you know, when you wet the hair, it, it'll it look, like, extra thin when it's first wet. But as it dries, it swells a little bit. And so, <clears throat> it, it works out really well. And But, yeah. So, I'll 
you know, I'll play around with the hair. I'm not going to take all y'all time doing it right now, but I just want them to have some type of order to his hair. Read in rainbow. And, um, I couldn't decide, like, do I want, want his hair to come? Do I want you to have a curl in the front? Like, I always feel like boys shouldn't have, like, bangs. They can have hair, like, laying down a little bit, like baby hairs. And I'll go in and add him some baby hairs in the end. But I feel like they should not have, like, long bangs. So... But say I can have my Michael Jackson sideburns now, baby. I haven't even really got on that side because he's laying on that side and it's it's gonna be pointless. And that will dry fairly quickly. And he will be good to go. And then I'll find him some, you know, some slippers or something like that. But yeah, that's that's the beauty of the cuddles. And he's a good size. He got his next outfit is gonna be a um jean outfit. I already got it planned out. Um because with the cuddles, I can put them on jeans and not worry about the dye transfer. Let me see. Let me get, a little, get a little closer in the most of do, 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 do. All right, let me put this light up here. I had moved it because I had to stand there. So let me get a little bit more light on him because he is a little light bright. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna turn him a little bit more towards this way so you guys can see more of his actual face instead of his side profile. Hold on. There you go. Basically. So this is Orion, and I like that name. So if I was to keep him, that would be his name. It would. I would keep the Orion name. So there you go. That's that's my my cuddle snuggles buggles. Another thing about cuddles is um if you put your babies in pajamas a lot, they are the best pajama babies. <laughs> I don't know why. Like he's not getting a whole lot of light. Like it's be sometimes stuff be kept cast in a shadow, it just drives me insane. And then it just there we go. But anyway, this, oh gosh, my videos are being so super long. But that is it. So now he's dressed. Oh, and let me see. Let me see if I can show y'all like his bum bum with the diaper on. Does it make a difference in this one? Well, not really. That's not worth worth the hassle, is it, Boopa? I've been calling my babies Boopa because I be saying that to my grandbaby. Boopa. All right. Anyway, you guys get the point. But yeah, posing, of course, is there's no limit. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.